Welcome guys and girls to a brand new video. Think about it. This one's going to be my special tips and tricks for roll off. First of all, bearing in mind that I am a mouse and keyboard player. Okay, so I'm actually going to go under here. We're going to leave you with some live stream commentary. And what we're going to do is we're going to explain certain things Let's underneath under, over. in the captions below. And, uh, gonna go across. We're also going to tell you avoidance tips and tricks. Tips and tricks for actually planning your route out. It's gonna be griefers, we gotta be careful of them right now. And advice on how to identify the griefers. Nearly had him. Certain mechanics in the game you want to be very careful of. For example, if you get too close to the walls, you can rag it all yourself over. These guys are going to get in my way right now. If you ragged all yourself over, close down to the walls, so go up here for a little bit. there's a chance you may hit the slam, baby. Confident players are able to jump over the gaps even at fast pace. Need some people to start falling and start falling fast. If you find that you are not confident with the jump dives, basically you just want to spin around in a circle to avoid people being able to grab you at will. Okay. Second piece of advice is if you do get the chance, yeah. actually go for a grab if you get the chance to knock a player off if they are standing too close to the edges you will be able to knock them out pretty damn easily. Make it. The main thing is keep calm. Do not panic. As soon as you panic, you get nervous. Oh. Ragdoll, baby! Okay. Roll off win. <sighs> God, how like, heart racing is that thing? That was my first guy. reaction to my first roll off win. Oh, guys, come on. You see, the fucking lobby grabs you. And, like, literally, there's no point. Pardon the language. There's actually no point, but I'm gonna use it as practice. But you see that shadow on the screen? That's a Fall Guys hacker on Christmas Day. Ruining the that. fun of Fall Guys. But instead, we use it as practice. We prove that we do get the win. Despite the hacker. We may not be given the win, but it's definitely our win. Okay, I might as well get this as practice for griefing. So as I was practicing for griefing, I noticed one little tactic that can be very useful for people on this, and that is what you call tap grabbing. Now tap grabbing will force uh, players to move away from you, oh, buddy. and to move in a position you mind? that is You're going anywhere. to open up spaces and doors for yourself. Now the worst thing that you can do on roll off final is basically go too far to the left or the right hand side. If you go too far to the left and the right hand side, when the spinners become faster it will be very hard for you to recover okay. from that. So you do want to stay central on the platform at all times. You actually need to try and time this out somehow. I actually did went for a timeout and the timeout doesn't seem to be possible on roll off. Because in under the 5 minute marker, basically you're in the slime anyway. Damn, this guy's good. When it's a head to head, don't panic. Do not focus on the griefing. The griefing can actually take you out very easily at this point. Whoosh. Ah! And here's the cheetah. Bumbly tiptoeing planet. We do like to expose the cheetahs every now and then. So now we are playing as the penguin. Okay, so you can see just regular jump dives. Nice and easy. All you do, space bar and dive. If you're on controller, it's just your jump button and your dive button. 
You can make big jumps like that, but big jumps like that have the risk of your head bouncing off the wall and being rebounded straight into the slime. In order to get yourself enough space to make the jumps, you want to make sure that you are away from other players. In order to do so, sometimes the tap grabbing technique will come highly effective for you. We'll try and show you an example, a little bit of a grab right there. That's not the example we are looking for right now. Okay, so we're just keeping eyes on the movement. We can see an opening right here, making sure that they're not able to actually desync grab us. Desync grabbing means they are able to grab from a certain amount of distance. So as you're making your jump, they can grab you directly into the slide. You want to be very careful of this and make sure your positioning is prime in order to be able to make your jumps. You can see I go to the corners here. Now this is actually faster so a lot more players will be less confident with the jumping so you can actually make these jumps and you do need to keep hold of your forward key at the same time. Again, when the beams become faster you want to be more central towards it. Spinning around gives you more control over your movement and angles at the same time. Your camera angle is not as important on this particular one. Moving your camera angle less can actually be a pro effective tip as well because it will allow you not to get as dizzy and not to get as nauseous. You'll find in some examples some players will actually get in the way of you so the spinning around technique will also avoid when the beams are getting faster what it will do is it will actually avoid people being able to run into you and ragdoll you just by decent pushing you. So again when you're in a crowd like so don't panic the beam is nice and slow you've got absolutely plenty of time. You always want to pick the path that less people are at. So for example right here we could actually knock him out just with the desync jump. And that we know that we are safe from being ragdolled ourselves, Because the beams are that slow, his jump's gonna be slow. The faster his jump is, the more chance we will be ragdolled. Again, just figuring out the space, making sure nobody is close enough in order to get a grab off on us. Only timing our jumps to when we need to and when it's going to be effective to jump. Some of the times I intentionally hit the walls just so I can show you the examples of being ragdolled and this is an example of showing you that you can actually make the jumps but you see how my characters going further down quite easy. That is basically gravity forcing you down. Roller final is actually one of my favourite finals. How about you guys? What is your favourite finals? Don't forget to let me know in the pinned comment in the description. Again, you spin me right round baby right round. He fell into the slime baby. Now we're moving on to another live stream example. We're going to try not to comment over our commentary. Okay. I'm going to stay away from the edges right now. I'm actually going to go down. So you can see that I actually use the lower section away from other players. Wait for it. I wonder if I can make that jump. Yeah, I can. I answered my own question by doing I the can jump. Make it, but I can't make it when it's fast. To make the larger jumps, you do not want to jump early. You want to if wait. If you get a chance, we'll actually grief someone for it to come down a little bit, so that the actual jump platform is somewhat central. Oh baby, this is going to get tense, we just baited another person. Bait and prey is another mechanic of the game, so you can actually bait a person yeah, into the... following you and actually bait them into running yeah, straight into a gap. And about the, the phone soul brother, check it out now, the phone soul brother. When you become more confident, you start to sink. <laughs> Go away. 
Bullet skins are a 10 crown skin. Be very careful of bullet skins yeah. because they are OG veteran players. If they get the chance to grab you, they will, as you can see right Still there. Good. Still good. Staying towards the centre again. This guy's way too close to me. 360 in a round to keep our control nice and balanced. Staying oh, away from the yeah. wall. Avoiding the other players as much as physically possible. That was close. I've been knocked over. Recovery from the ragdolls. Good here. Faster Good switches there. from right to left. Whoa, that was so close. Here's where it gets tense, baby. Oh, we got it in the slime, baby.